Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel of weird science is all about trying to learn various concepts of the science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding election results. The difficulty level of this question is medium and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the pandas schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads, we are given a table called votes with two different columns, voter and candidate. The combined column voter and candidate is the primary key that is combination of unique values for this table. Each row of this table contains name of the voter and their candidate. The election is conducted in a city where everyone can vote for one or more candidates or choose not to vote. Each person has one vote, so if they vote for multiple candidates, their vote gets equally split across them. For example, if a person votes for two candidates, these candidates receive an equivalent of 0.5 votes each. Okay, we are asked to write a solution to find candidate who got the most votes and won the election. Output the name of the candidate or if multiple candidates have an equal number of votes, display the names of all of them. Return the result table ordered by candidate in ascending order. Okay, let's go through this example. So here you have various voters and the candidates they voted for. So if you look at Kathy, she voted for Naman. Charles voted for three people, Ryan, Christine and Kathy. So effectively the vote got by Ryan from Charles is 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Then for Benjamin voted for Christine. So this for this, the vote is going to be counted as one. Why? Because Benjamin only voted for Christine. So the total value is one, right? Similarly for Arthur and so on. So after we sum the effective votes and order by the value in decreasing manner, we are going to get that, okay, Christine and Ryan got equal number of votes and therefore they won. So to solve this question, you might have guessed the first thing that we need to do is we need to find out, okay, for every voter, whatever candidate they voted for, what is the actual value? So Kathy voted for no one. So actually the value is zero. Charles voted for three people. So the actual value is 0 0.33, 0 0.33, 0 0.33 and so on. So we need to get that. So how can we do that? We can use the window function. To get the value, what we can do is from this table called votes, let us keep both the columns. So select star and then let's count how many people has each voter voted. So what we can do is we can perform a count of the candidate column. And now since we are using a window function, we write over partition by the voter so for every voter we are going to count how many candidates they have voted for now you might be thinking why we are doing count of candidate and why not count of distinct candidate why because we are partitioned by voter and then we are counting the candidate and we know that in the question it has said that the combined columns voter and candidate is a primary key that is they this combination is going to be unique right so once you partition by the voter you don't need to count distinct candidates there is not going to be any repetition now this is going to give us the count if I divide one by this value, that is going to give you the effective vote. How? So for example, Charles voted for three people. We counted that, okay, how many candidates Charles voted for? Three. So one divided by three, that is 0 0.33 is the effective value, right? So that is what we are doing. And let's alias this as value. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. So if we look at it, now we have, so okay, Charles voted for three different people. So the effective value is 0 0.33, 0 0.33 and 0 0.33 and so on. Okay. Once we have the effective value, then what we can do is we can go ahead and group by the candidate and perform a sum on the value that is going to give you each candidate how many total votes they got, right? So what we can do is let's save this in a common table expression. So with CTE as this entire thing goes into parentheses and then from this common table expression let's group by the candidate and then return the candidate and perform a sum of the value column and alias this as votes let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if you look at it we know that okay these are the four candidates that we see in this output and these are the total number of effective votes that they got null is not a candidate it's basically because there are some people who have chosen not to vote for any candidate so that is why null is appearing if you want you can filter them out but it does not matter to us so okay once we have reached here then what we want is we want the name of the candidates who have received the highest votes and we can see that there are two people who have done that so what you can do is we can rank them so okay based on the decreasing order of the number of votes that they got we can rank them so to rank what we can do is we know there are three different ways of ranking in sql rank 
dense rank and row number you cannot use row number here because there is a possibility of ties row number always assigns a new value irrespective of whether there is a tie or not so you can use dense rank or rank i usually like to prefer using dense rank so i can go ahead and do that okay let me dense rank this since this is a window function so we write over clause and then order by the sum of the value column in decreasing manner because that is what is votes right sum of the value in decreasing manner and let's alias this as rnk let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if you look at it this is assigned rank one this is two and three so once we have this then what we can do is we can save this entire thing in a common table expression two and keep only those rows where rank is equal to one because those are the people who have got the maximum number of votes so let's save this in common table expression two so cte2 as again this entire thing goes into parentheses and then we keep only those rows so from this common table expression two, keep only those rows where rank is equal to one and for those people return the name of the candidate because they have one and you also need to order this by the name of the candidate so order by candidate let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah, this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit this pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it so somewhat tricky question what we basically had to do was firstly what we did was we found out okay since one candidate can vote for one or more people so we found the effective value of their votes once we had the value we grouped by the candidate to get okay how many actual votes did they get and then we ranked based on that number of votes obviously since we ranked based on decreasing manner so rank equal to one is assigned to the person who gets the maximum vote and we kept only those candidates and ordered by candidate in ascending order so this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient solution to all this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video